Now, prophecy can be given in three forms. You can change your future using prophecy. And then you can use three forms to do that. The first one is through the written word. A written word can change your future. Jeremiah the chapter 30 verses 2. That says the Lord, the God of Israel, write all the words which I have spoken to you in a book. So he was saying that, all the words I have spoken to you in a book, write them. God was talking to Jeremiah. Write the words that I have spoken to you in a book. Deuteronomy 31, 24. It came about when Moses finished writing the words of this law in a book until they were complete. Moses also what? Wrote. Joshua 24, 26. And Joshua wrote these words in the book of the law of God. He wrote this Words. I have discovered something about the prophets in the Bible that dealt with God. They were writers. If you don't know how to write, you cannot be used by God. Those of you, when you are coming to church, you come with your hand in your pocket. You are not a potential man of God. Men must be writers. You can't go to God without a book. No. Throughout the Bible, or any time God appeared to a prophet, he say, write. Even in heaven. There are books. The Bible says in the book of Revelation. And then the angel with the small book, I preach on that. There was an angel with a small book. And books were open. And another book was open. You have to be a writer. Don't come to church with your pocket. No, be a writer. If heaven are documenting things, what about you? The Bible said there are people whose name is in the book of life. And some names were not found in that. God knows. God, God himself, he don't need a book. He lives outside documentation. Yet, he still writes people's names in the book of life. That's the power of what? Documentation. That's the power of writing. Habakkuk the chapter 2 verses 2. Then the Lord answered me and said, Record the vision. Inscribe it on tablets. Write it down on tablets. Record it. Write it down. This morning I wake up and I took my 2017 vision and jota. And I was going through it. And it was beautiful. The encounters and all that. Some of them I even forgot about them. But when I was going through I could remember those encounters. Amen. Write the word vision. Write it. You have to be a writer. For you to go far with God, you must be a writer. Mas Moron said every day he writes. There's no day he don't write. He's late now. Every day there must be something to write. There are some people, if we take your phone note, there's nothing there. There's nothing. And some people, they will come to church with their phone like they are writing note. They are not writing note. Too. As you are preaching, they will glance. When you mention a scripture, they will watch a statue. You mention another scripture, they will watch another statue. And you there, you are, you are thinking that they are writing. They are not writing. They are not writing. Their data is on. They are sending pictures and they are communicating. Hallelujah. Be a writer. Don't be a normal Christian. Don't, don't. That thing should leave you by now. Amen. So, you can change your future using the written word of God. There are things that are written about your life life that can never change until you know what is written until you can discern what is written you can change your future so prophecy can be in a written form and that when you identify and know what is written you can change your destiny using that